On the Ozarks now this evening, it's not even been a month since that anti-religion group based in Wisconsin asked the city of Ozark to remove that cross from Finley River Park. You see it right here. The complaint, of course, led city leaders to move it to some privately owned property there. But now the Freedom From Religion Foundation has moved its next battle on in Missouri to Camden County and leaders there are responding tonight. The group claims these two paintings we're showing you right here are in the Camden County Clerk's Office. They say they violate the separation of church and state clause in the U.S. Constitution. One is a painting of two steel beams in the shape of a cross with the date 9-11. The other has an American flag with the Bible verse John 15, 13. Camden County leaders removed a ballot box nearby the paintings. But as you can imagine, the debate has led to some controversy and the fight may soon go to a judge. Some 200 people packed a hearing this afternoon over the religious imagery. Many Camden County residents say they don't want the items removed. Reps of the family that filed the lawsuit say it's a clear First Amendment violation, but the county commission listened to other voices today. Well, I'm here to tell you that their rights do matter. Their rights are guaranteed by the same documents that Mr. Hasty referenced earlier. They're guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution, and they have every bit as right of a right to not have you impose your beliefs upon them. I agree that they have a right to speak uh, under the Constitution, but they don't have a right to sue us because we have a different stand than they do. The commission is in a position where we have to make some decisions. If I'm getting the views of the majority of the people here, they would uh, rather uh, fight to the end yes. rather than yeah. remove yeah. this. The Freedom From Religion Foundation says it's going to take the matter to court if the county commission does not remove the paintings. Presiding Commissioner Greg Hasty says the commission most likely will vote to retain it based on the feedback they heard there in the room today.